Relational databases support many different data types. There's integer, which are basically whole numbers that are, could be either positive or negative. Two types of integers are int or small int, where int is four bytes in memory and small int is just two bytes in memory. Examples of integers are 117, negative 52, five, just any whole number, positive or negative. Decimal are numbers that have fractional values or just numbers with decimal points in them. There's two types, there's float and decimal, which also just differ by memory size, decimal being more precise. Examples of decimal numbers are 3.14 or negative 5.25. Characters are just any kind of text. Char is a fixed string of characters, whereas varchar is a string of variable length up to a specified max size. Examples include the word Detroit or just ABC123 and any kind of text really. Time is the date, time, or both date and time. Time may also include a time zone or specify a time interval. The database types for time include date, time, date time, or timestamp. An example of time could be like 01 slash 17 slash 2022 at 05 colon 00 as the time. There's binary, which stores data in memory exactly as it is in the database. And that's bit for bit using ones and zeros. And the types of binary include blob, a binary, var binary, or image. In the database, it'll look like 1001011101. Zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one. You, know, you get the idea. There's spatual data, which is geometric information such as lines, polygons, or even map coordinates. And the data types for spatial data include polygon, point, and geometry. Examples are, you know, parentheses 1.7 comma 23.5 if you had some kind of coordinates. You can store document data types using either JSON or XML as a data type. And a few other noteworthy data types are Boolean, money, bit, or enum for enumerations. And once we start creating database tables and future videos, we'll explore some of these data types in more detail.